Welcome to Gord Field here in Detroit Rock City, home of the Motor City Maniacs. And I see the Maniac fans are trying to get the fire wave going, <laughs> but so far just a small number of fires and mostly just on the upper deck. Yeah, they really stepped up security, Grim. In the men's room earlier, I only witnessed three random assaults and two of them were on me. <laughs> Not bad for game day. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The insane Colts go up against the Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Briggs, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, bah! Uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take your shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. Uh, uh. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stopped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. Oh, oh sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. The defenders won, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and ten. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. What is this, 80s 
wrestling? <laughs> First and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy. League. Second down and ten. He refuses to go, and he picks up ten on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Ass in, and I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. Third down and a pussy hair. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. right there folks second down and nine and the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full of berserk oh now the offense is getting kills uh, this is a really violent game guys it's fantastic And offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Down and he 
ain't gonna happen, partner. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. That kick is good! Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just kidneys. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And that'll bring up second and one. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Called us. Hey, didn't your mother ever tell you to oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA? Population? This guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. But he might catch him. Oh, you fat little mutant. should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Nice punt! 
Should move him back nice. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. so much space. This your first time playing the game? Hey, you with the controller in your hand. I'm talking to you. Second down and ten. You know what they say? Sometimes the best offense is a change. nice bricks but our timeouts are for our sponsors and we need money more than they do that's it that's their last time out it's them against the other team and the clock Should be an easy 
chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention... And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them, time out. Stop that's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy... The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strip tease show. Where are we going? Don't you settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, with the brain scrambler.
yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First and ten. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him go. for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, score, did it? How good can it be? Third down and long. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Third down and the punter is warming up. And he reels 
that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Wasn't he bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys gonna take this? The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And this is the first and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Let's see if they can 
keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know? Communication is important. And it's first and ten. You know what they say? Sometimes the best. <laughs> points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay you've got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pin cushion i was a chubby kid grim my parents sent me to fat camp my big brother told me as soon as he get there stab the first kid you see and no one will mess with you so i get off the bus at the camp some kid runs up to me and stabs me <laughs> Burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players would catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And an eight-yard gain on that 
one. Like when Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wife with a headache. I don't understand why they're going for it, Grim. This seems like the situation where they should always, always... Open. And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. And it's first and ten. second half. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait. What, you're married? Uh, it's complicated. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! I'm a touchdown shiver! the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Pow! With the brain scrambler. First and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. Oh, well, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. But the, the QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell was that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and... And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Side kicks the desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Still, it ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. Oh, and that kick to his highlight reel. That was perfect. And since he's a kicker, that brings him up to a one hole highlight. And the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And the defense was reading him like a book. Like it was written in Braille, Grim. His hands were all over the ball. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that 
is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Friend, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy. <laughs>